what's going on YouTube it's just starting to rain I gotta head out to our Doppler radar site we got some data problems going on somehow the data is not coming back to our station so we got to find out what's going on out there might have to call tech support for radar company and find out what the deal is but as you see the skies are overcast and gray in some areas it's supposed to get like a almost an inch of rain today so of course the meteorologists are wondering what's going on with their radar we have a backup system another radar but this time primary radar which we get data a lot faster so we gotta get out here and find out what's going on what do you know look at that hardly any gas in the company engineering pickup truck so now i gotta stop fill this thing up because it takes about 35 minutes to drive out to goochland county where the radar location is so somebody left no gas in here great <laughs> All right, ready to go. I got my tool kit. Almost forgot it. I had to go back and get it. Gonna fill her up. So here we go. About halfway there, and it's pouring down rainy. Great. Well, hopefully I can just stay inside the building and troubleshoot. I doubt I'll probably be going up in the radar dome because radar is spinning and it's not getting data. But about halfway there and it's a nice old downpour. Alright, we are here. Let's see what it looks like back here. We made it. Let's see what's up in here. Looks like we do have some kind of problems here with data. Now this is an old school computer monitor, so that's why you see these black lines rolling through the video. But you can see right here, data is right here from the echoes. But up here, this scale, we don't have anything on our radar echoes coming back. And we should have radar echoes because it's raining outside. See right here, we still have azimuth rotation, so the radar is spinning right now. Starts over at zero, goes all up to 360, and starts back over. And the transmitter is operational. Everything is up. 1,040 kilovolts. Well, 1.4 kilovolts was so 1,000 volts. Milliamps, everything is correct. Remote, which goes back to the television station. Something's wrong with our data path right here. So we gotta figure that out. Okay, we found some major problems with this transmitter down here. I'm over here checking on everything and somehow everything goes quiet. I look down here on my display and everything shut down now because of the very high voltage. But we had some over temperature alarms on here. Come checking everything around this high voltage power supply right here, which is over a thousand volts in here, like 1.4 kilovolts. The cooling fan on here is dead. And right back here in the back, I'm not going to put my hands in here because the voltage is very high. But that cooling fan right here is barely spinning, as you can see. Barely spinning. That needs to be replaced. And it's another fan right up here in the rack. You see that spinning? That fan is not spinning. That's actually gone also. A few other devices back here that have fans, which probably need to be replaced. And call up tech support. It's another fan that's inside this high voltage power supply. That's probably bad also, but you won't see it from here. You got to open the whole thing up. So we think we figured out a major problem. We have like four dead fans that so we need to be need to be replaced. That's why the transmitter is going to stand by protection mode because you don't want to burn this tube up. And the tube is down inside of here, the cavity. That's all your wave got for RF. Comes out of here. Boom. 
goes up in here and out through here and all the way up to the Doppler Dome. And that's dealing with all kind of radio frequency wave guides. That's how the signal gets back into here. Back and forth, up there too, back and forth. And that's how the data, the data comes back and it echoes and everything like that. And that's how you get data for Doppler radar. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bunch of photos, send all these photos to the Radtech radar company so they know exactly what fans that we need and we should have some pulling fans and come out here and replace them. But when we replace these fans, it has to be two people here because if something happens, you get fried or electrocuted, you have to have somebody that can at least call back and say, you know, somebody's dead or something like that. But you gotta have two people dealing with very high voltage down here. Man, I'm glad I didn't have to go up in that dome today. Climb those stairs and get in that hatch, I'm glad. Because from previous video, I don't like bees. And that's what's probably up there, but that's it for now.